Hi guys, Drew here. Um, I love watching people do their altar tours and whatnot, and I wanted to do a studio tour, but my studio, there's way too much junk in here to do one video. So I decided to focus on my conjuring cabinet for my first video. Um, I have a really dear friend, a little Wiccan woman in the next county over who owns a witchy store. Um, but when I first met her, she was into antiques and had been for many years. Um, so she had an antique store that had a tiny section of witch stuff. Now she's phased out the antiques. But when we moved into our house, we went to look for, I wanted a cabinet for all my witchy wares. And I fell in love with a cabinet in her store. And to top it all off, it happened to be a cabinet from the movie The Conjuring. We live in Eastern North Carolina and there is a, um, it's called Rose City Pictures where they film movies and TV shows or at least parts of them. Like for instance, The Crow, um, Dawson's Creek and The Conjuring. Um, and apparently when you, they use antiques in a movie, after they're done, they let antique dealers come in and they have an auction and sell them off. And she bought this one and they come with these little call, like this is the call sheet. And then there's part of the script behind it, like as authenticity, which only made it that much more attractive to me. My son and I have watched The Conjuring twice through looking in the background the whole time to see if we could find the cabinet and we couldn't. But um, apparently this movie, this, my cabinet was used in the movie and thus I call it my conjuring cabinet. Okay guys, this is my studio. Um, sorry about the window if it blinds you, um, but I need the natural light. So here is the conjuring cabinet. Up top we have tons of books, um, witchcraft, shamanism, alchemy, of course. Hanging on my knob is my little evil eye spider. Okay, in here we have tools for when I make stuff. These contain charms. They're polymer charms. These are polymer with crystals that we sell in our shop. Like this, for instance. It's a piece of aventurine, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. This one contains our goddess and evil eye charms. These are also made of polymer. The evil eyes look kind of wonky, but it's easier to make them that way, I admit, but I did it intentionally because I've never seen one made of glass that was perfect. They're always wonky. And I like that. And then there's triple goddess ones. Um, yeah, there's all different, all different ones. And then there's little, little goddess ones. This cabinet is half my personal witchy stuff and half product and what have you, or maybe more than half product actually. This is just stuff for wire wrapping. I, I wrap stones. Um, black candles, you gotta have them. Uh, this, this paper goes along with my wire wrapping. I always design them out first. These are just a bunch of doodads and charms and, you know, you always gotta have little bits around for Sorry if the camera's shaky and stuff, guys, but you always gotta have little charms and bits around for doing magic stuff. Little totem pins. I got Brother Eagle and the wolf. Um, here's where we keep our magic chalk. Of course, we make the skulls and we make little owls. And our magic chalk is good for everything. There are ingredients in it that will bring anything. Love, luck, prosperity. Um, money obviously goes with prosperity. Um, spirituality, protection, what have you. Like, it's covered. There's, there's so much stuff in there. 
so much stuff in there. Um, this is a sign when we do, when we do a little vended events, we set up, sometimes I do tarot readings. This is my book that I keep my inventory in so I can keep track of all my products. Here is my handy dandy electric grinder. I don't use it overly much because I do absolutely love grinding and mortar and pestle by hand. This is uh, another sign from when we do vended events. Um, we hope to get a much larger sign, but right now we don't have that. This is where I store my garnet granules, but right now I'm out. And here there's all kind of uh, little candle holders made of selenite and Himalayan salt. This is my spray adhesive. Comes in handy on a regular basis. This box is full of dyes for salts. There's some bath bombs. I always have extra when I make for um, products. Down in the bottom, you have dyes for um, bath bombs and then all my essential oils hidden in there. It's the, it smells so good in here right now because I opened that box and it's full of essential oils. All right, and this is the surface area and yeah, it's a lot to take in. Let's see. Um, got my little skull candle holders. I got, you know, white candle and a black candle. Um, stones, this oil, I love this oil. Um, when I was working at a metaphysical shop, oh, you can't see. It, um, not that you can really read it anyway. One of our customers that adored us, she went to Israel and um, got this oil. It's bottled and blessed in Jerusalem. And I've had that for so many years and barely used any because I just love it. It smells great and it's just sweet. Um, more stones. Got credite, amethyst. Um, there's an emerald back there. There's Herkimer and Matrix. There's uh, a quartz laser wand, a rough rose quartz, that's labradorite. No, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Lepidolite and pink tourmaline in quartz. Uh, this one is Picasso Jasper. And this is... Uh, Chalcedony. Okay, I got my little piece of cotton there. I got my applewood wand here. I'm going to do a video about all my handmade um, witchy tools, so I'll go into that more then. Um, my little candle snuffer, pentacle incense burner, lots of little agate slices. Love those. This is a spell that I'm currently working. Okay, more. Let's see. Fishtail selenite, um, it's Tanzan aura quartz, apple aura quartz. This is rhodonite. Oh, I love it. Okay, um, these are some prosperity herbs. We're getting ready to put up a new prosperity um, money draw altar, and these will go on there. We just did a ritual for full moon with them the other night. This is where I keep all of my incense. Uh, some Nag Champa, Amber, one of my favorites. I've got Dragon's Blood, of course. I've got this um, Indian Temple Incense. I love Indian Temple. Moldavite Incense, I love. Um, these Isis Rose, which I adore, and I cannot find them anywhere anymore. So if anybody knows where to get some, tell me in the comments, please. This is part of my prosperity spell. It's a spell I'm growing, so. Uh, sunflower, applewood. These are leaves from dandelion. More cotton seeds for spring when I grow veggies. My high altar candle. I love that. It's one of my favorite candles. Some quartz around it. Got um, these oranges, which will also be going on our prosperity altar. This is ground selenite. This is Rose of Jericho water. This is 
my is this selenite yes my selenite oil and it's the basic recipe given by lady grave dancer i love it same with this quartz a little bit has changed this quartz oil but again got it from lady grave dancer this is my own um psychic intuitive oil uh wisteria oil because we have wisteria in the backyard well not right now but this is a bottle I'm going to make an oil in, although I'm not sure what. And this is a bottle I'm going to make a protection oil in. Back here I've got this flask my husband bought me years ago. It's where I used to keep my Blessed Charge cleansing water. This is mandrake water my husband made me years ago. My antique mortar and pestle I got from my friend who I got this cabinet from. Because I, I have so many mortar and pestles, it's not even funny. This is just a candle holder. This is like... Uh, candle we got snake skin and bones um, wisteria tons and tons of wisteria here's some roses there's all kinds of flowers my lid came off sorry about that all kinds of flowers up in here my rue water which I got at the little Mexican shop love that more wisteria I'm telling you tons and tons of wisteria my cauldron. This is my rue water that I made. And this is stone charged water I used to make. Um, now we just do the storm water, but there's some Himalaya salt here. This is ground kyanite. This is graveyard dirt. This actually has, whoops. This actually has um, storm water in it. Let me see if you can see. And I spray it. I love that. It's a little oil can we got at a, a thrift store. Got some seashells back here. This lovely little blue jar I'm going to do something with. I don't know what yet. My cauldron is full of ash. I will use when I make my doorstop dust. Um, this is a fulgurite. You don't know what a fulgurite is lightning hits the sand and it forms together this is a huge fulgurite um was given to me by a friend 